All right, guys, finally the weather gave us a break, and today we're gonna be installing the VGs. All right, before we actually place the VGs, I want to collect some raw data. So let's go flying and gather what kind of cruise speeds do I get and what kind of stall speeds do I get. For cruise speeds, I like to take two settings. One is my best economy and best power. Best economy runs about 5,000 RPM and best power is going to run around 5,400 RPM. For the stall, we want to do full flaps, just basically the same kind of a simulation that we did uh, just to compare the data. Coco Tower, Kid Fox 171 Kilo Kilo 19 right, we'd like to request the uh, right downwind departure. Kid Fox 171 Kilo Kilo Conquer Tower, right downwind departure is approved, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff, early turn is approved if you want it. Yeah, thank you, we'll do an early turn in 19 right, clear for takeoff, 1 Kilo Go. Wind 230 at 11. So we look for a place here over the water, not too far away from the airport. And um, I think the goal is to try to pick the same spot for both tests. So we're going to do now without the VGs. Okay, Fox, one kilo kilo, you still on my frequency? Affirm. Okay, Fox, one kilo kilo traffic, 11 miles northeast of Concord Airport hey. is a citation. I think it's 3,300. They're sending them first straight into 19, right? All right, we'll keep an eye for it. We're going to move to the west side a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, we got the traffic inside there. We have the citation on final inside. We have both traffics. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to uh, 12275 so we don't get uh, busy on the frequency. Um, as a baseline, I have this camera here for you to look into my display. And if you like to look at the true air speed, you can look at the true air speed. If you like to look indicator air speed or if you like to, go to look at ground speed, it's, it's all there for you to look at it. So you can establish your uh, baseline from whatever speed you feel like it. We got this camera here, we got this one here on the back, and then we have one pointing on the tail. So the goal is uh, I'm going to point towards uh, the south. The uh, winds are blowing about four knots, so uh, it's not too bad. And uh, let's take a look of our normal cruise speed before we do stalls and gather the data for the stalls. So I'm going to point towards the south. And I'm going to set up two, two cruise speeds that I usually do. One is my uh, best economy, which is I'm um, throttled down usually at 5,000 RPM. And then best power, which is about 5,400 RPM or so, uh, once I adjust my, my propeller. So I do have an in-flight adjustable propeller, which is an electric prop, which enables me to adjust my RPM in-flight. So we're going to do that. Now, I'm going to be doing my best economy now. And I'm level at 2,500 feet, and I'm gonna adjust my prop, and I'm gonna bring my prop to uh, about 5,000 RPM or so. So one more notch. So let me bring back my trim. And that's where I usually am. Best economy, 5,000 RPM, 24 manifold pressure, and uh, I'm doing a 104, 105 as indicated airspeed, two airspeed at 109, and uh, ground speed at 93 knots, because I'm getting about three knots of uh, 
three knots of uh, headwinds or so. Hopefully this camera here then is not, not going to be shaking too much. It's a little bumpy today. Roger that. A little bump over the hills. Alright, so between 104, I'm getting 110 now, 112 are through. So that's my best economy. So I can push a little further down. Usually I don't I don't get a lot more, but I can push a little more and uh, get on a 5400 RPM. Let's see it. So 51 RPM. So 53. So 54 of 100 RPM as I'm doing 110. kind of a really hard to do a perfect altitude because I don't have an autopilot. Alright, so between 104, 105, and now I'm at 110 at best power. That's, uh, that's more like it. That's what I usually like to cruise, 110, 112 or so at 53, 5400 pounds. All right, so I'm gonna pull my power back now. I'm gonna leave my propeller adjusted this way so for next time we'll, we'll make just a very fine adjustment on there. Yeah, so for stalls, we're gonna go full flaps and power off and power on, right? So there's no need to do uh, half flaps because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be doing half flaps uh, landing. So I just wanna see if I improve my uh, my stall speeds that way. And I know already because I have played before that I stall at a 40 indicator airspeed before. So let's see, let's just confirm that data and make sure we are on the same page there. Alright, so my first notch of flaps, second notch of flaps. And I'll make sure I trim right. And power comes off completely. 48, 45, 43, 41, that was 41 right there. All right, so we did a 41. Do so one more, okay, just so we have correct data. We have a 13 knots here of headwinds in this area. So 49. 47 43 now All right it's A little bit a little bit on the bumpy side so now let's do a power on Power on stop Bumpy here. Let's go over the water. Uh, I didn't look like we improved much with the power on. So forty three, forty two. I'm up in degrees, 42. All right, 40. Yeah, it's a little different than before. I was getting 40 before, and I'm on a 42, 43 now. That uh, seems like, and I have, I'm getting half tanks, a little lower than half tanks. 
so I should be stalling at 40 for sure. Let's try one more. Alright, so 43. 43 to, uh, between 43 to 40, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Yeah, it's pretty bumpy, I was fighting pretty good. Alright, so, um, let's go back and, uh, put the VGs on. All right, so no real surprises uh, from our uh, test flight, the initial test flight. Our uh, best economy was about 104, 103, uh, best power 110, 111, uh, or full flaps power off was about 43, and full flaps power on was about 42, 41. I was expecting to get 40, uh, but it was really bumpy out there and uh, wasn't uh, the best uh, the best day to perform these kind of tests. So now let's go ahead and put the VGs and I want to show you a few tools that I have developed to assist me uh, place them properly. Uh, number one, of course I pinned them uh, before so they are already nice and, and, and match the color. Uh, number two, I developed this tool here that I placed these uh, pieces here on the leading edge and I basically score the leading edge and the pen makes a line, a perfect line which is on my cord line, 34 millimeters. And then I also uh, printed this strip in a laser cut it uh, pattern, uh, which shows uh, my proper distance and my proper angle. So I basically I'm gonna put this on my leading edge on top of where I score, and I'm gonna place the VG on this tiny little hole here. And every time that I place them, it's gonna be perfectly positioned, perfectly centered. Uh, Stoic Speed doesn't provide this, I had to make my own some of the other components they provide. Uh, so um, that will probably expedite the installation. So let's go ahead and install this thing. All right, so the first wing is completed and it's totally a pain to uh, put those perfectly aligned and, and the sticker. Uh, I'm not convinced that it's gonna stick in there, so we'll see. All right, VGs installed, all of them. Check it out, both sides, and uh, that's it. Let's go flying. All right, so uh, we're back at the same exact place, same exact altitude. The wind condition seems to be basically the same. So I'm gonna turn left here pointing the airplane towards the uh, headwind. The same thing I did before. And I'm gonna set my power to best economy, which is uh, 5,000 RPM. At 24 point something, 20, it was 24.9 I believe, not 25. There we go, 25. And I was getting a 104, 103, 104. So let's see what we get now. So 103. Go back here, adjust. All right, so we're 104, 103. to maintain altitude exactly but uh yeah it'll make this easier for us to see it so 107 108 i mean i would say
towards two one or three. Now let's go best power, which I go to fifty four hundred RPM or so. So we're doing one ten now. Adjust my prop. Uh, cruise speeds 
and uh, I call this, you know, a success. Uh, I'm glad I was able to show you guys here on the display the actual numbers. Uh, I was looking at of the indicator airspeed. I was not looking at true airspeed just because I'm so focused on looking at the indicator airspeed every time that I go land somewhere. So that's what I'm used to. Uh, but, you know, the numbers are there, we can look at later and compare what was the true airspeed difference, what was the ground speed difference, so the, and of course with ground speed, uh, it's not the best one to look because winds um, affect quite a bit. And that's it. Anyways guys, thanks for following along with me, thanks for watching the videos, I really appreciate. If you haven't watched part one of my uh, simulation, uh, you can watch here, I'll put a link for you. And then this video is going to make a little bit more sense, which is part two, which is me stalling the VGs and everything that you guys saw. Anyways, thanks again. I really enjoy making these videos. Thanks for all of you that reach out to me uh, on social media. I really appreciate it. It makes my day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you. Smoke on.